Welcome back to Power Gamers. You join us in the middle of a fight against Venom and Andros and all the apes. Because we hate apes, right? No, I love apes. We've discussed this. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sympathising with I'm sympathising with the apes, alright? I think you need to read your law and then you can come back and get yeah, some I'm, I'm, I'm basically a commie. That's why I am. Commie, okay. Yeah. I'm an ape sympathiser. Get an ape shit. Ape, uh... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. There. It's funny because they haven't been on this planet, I don't think, for ages, but they've really, really, like, decked the place out. <laughs> they, they definitely got Traps some decking out. Yeah, they got. They went to Ikea, got a couple of, uh, you know... Traps. Yeah, got a couple of traps. The Swedish got some uh, bean bags. Bean bag. Put some cupboards up. <laughs> oh, and a uh, spike pit. Yeah, they got a spike pit. <laughs> well, they have a really cool trap in a second, actually. We should be it's not really that cool if you know it from, like... Like that. No, 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 oh. we're not there yet. We've got to go for a little. I'll take the left. You never want to take right because if you go right, you end up going to Slippy. You never want to go. Slippy sucks ass. You never go anywhere with Slippy. <laughs> see, you see where Slippy's going, you go the opposite way. Aww. He's terrible. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Wait a minute. What do you mean Slippy shit? Because he's just like, he's like, Fox, help me! So. Have you not heard the saying, a friend in need is a friend indeed? Well... He's your best friend, basically. He's not my best friend. He never helps me. Who is your best me, friend on uh, this? On this, um... I was about to say, because we all know the answer is me. I, I actually, good. I think Peppy's my best friend in Peppy. game and in real life. What? What's he, when's he ever been there for you? Well, he always gives me helpful advice. <laughs> like what? Well, like if he... Store food in your cheeks or something, I don't know. No, like... <laughs> <laughs> you fight the bosses. Do a somersault! <laughs> the first time you fight the bosses, he, he basically tells you how to beat them. He's like, his weak point is this point! Because sometimes it's really not that clear. So, um, yeah, I would be absolutely fucking lost without Peppy. Seriously, then. Uh, I'd be lost in this world. Yeah. I'd be a lone shepherd. I'd be a, a shepherd? Oh, I wouldn't be a shepherd. You'd be a sheep. Yeah, I am a sheep without Peppy. He, well, he I'm, makes me the fox I am. Yeah, you know. He builds you up. Because we worked, with, well, he worked with my dad and stuff, so. You know, it's, it's good times. Good times. I mean, Isn't he just like a constant reminder of the glory days, though? I, I guess so. I mean, the war, you know, the, the, uh, the war yeah. before the like, oh shit, Andros. Oh, he's got a sick beard. Why, why are you not sympathised with the monkeys? They're beards and stuff, dude. Yeah, but he's also a floating head and hands. Yeah, so. that's cool as this is This is a Jeez cool track. Louise. I, I don't think... I think the gamers, like the game developers, have never heard of the name Louise. Why? It, it just, it, you know, Jeez Louise, that yeah. saying. It's like Jesus Louise, like the name. And they just spell it L A W E E Z. Like, that's if so, that would be if someone called Louise became a rapper. Oh. That's how they would like, Louise in well, it. Well, because they spell Jesus in G E Z, I guess. So yeah, but that's. Like a, it's just a hipper way of saying it, man. You're just not hip enough. Well, I guess I'm not you, rad, of course. Yeah, you're not rad. You weren't from the 80s. You don't understand. 80s? Yeah, isn't that when rad was all a thing? Oh, well, I was like the 90s. Oh, like when you surf dudes. I get confused. I, I don't give a shit, really. I, I don't know my decades. <laughs> yeah, I, well. If I wasn't around, I don't really give a shit. So. <laughs> but you were around in the 90s, Josh. Uh, That's the thing. I was a babby, you know. I wasn't really clued in. If it's not Dragon Ball Z or Ratchet and Clank, I wasn't really interested. That wasn't the... Okay, well, the Dragon Ball Z was the 90s. Okay, okay, well, Dragon Ball Z and Mario and Pokemon. There we yeah, go. There, exactly you go. there you go. You got your... You Did got it. your 90s correct. Did it. Joshua. See, I was more of a Sabrina the Teenage Witch kind of guy. You so. really watched that? No, I never watched that. My uh, my cousins just watch it. I'd be like, why is a weird talking cat just obviously a puppet? It actually freaked me out a little why? bit. Oh, well, what else were they going to do? Not have a talking cat. Well, that's the whole point. She's a witch. Well, you can have not a not talking cat. No, most witches don't have talking cats, you know. They just have cats. Yeah. Well, no, that's in the Harry Potter world. Okay. Sorry, am I crossing? Yeah, you're crossing mythoses, mate. Okay. Mythos. It's a, it's a dangerous subject doing that. Yeah. Because you get into like fan fiction. Well, let's not get into fan fiction. Have you ever? Well, have yeah, you ever, I've read fan fiction. No, I was Josh. Say, have you ever wrote fan fiction? Oh God, no. I don't think my fan fiction would be really boring. It would just be like, what kind of toasties does Harry Potter like? What type, like, what, what type of toasties does Harry Potter Well, basically, like? he's like, because he's a little bit middle class. Like, I know he grew up in, well, yeah, he grew up in Surrey, didn't he? So, yeah. basically, he makes, like, cheese toasties, right? Uh-huh. But he has it with, like, a brie and cheddar. Because <laughs> the brie kind of adds, like, a creaminess, uh -huh. but, like, a like a, like a perfumey scent as well. Okay. And But I'm he also this. adds, like, 
uh, chutney as well. Just like little, little kisses of chutney. What type throughout. of what type of chutney? Uh, onion. Onion. Caramelized chutney. onion chutney. Oh yeah, now you're selling this to me. I'm liking this chip. I got you. Basically, he got he got the recipe from Waitrose. <laughs> That's the kind of toast he had. That's what uh, that, I basically write food porn. That's what I do. I saw the trailer, speaking of food porn, I saw the trailer of Chef today. Yeah. It looks really, really good. Yeah, I, and I've, I've read good things about it. John Favreau striking gold again. He's your good, he's your good. favorite Robert Downey Jr.? Hmm? Your favorite Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr.? Is Robert Downey Jr. in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he's got like a little bit You just part. fucking remember. You just like lock him no, out. No, I remember. He's like that gay guy or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know uh, what his um, sexuality is. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't ask I, thought, I thought they made like a big thing in the trailer. I, I, no, I don't remember. He was just talking to, um... John Favreau. Yeah, about Yeah, it looks really cool. Plus, I love anything to do with food. Master Chef Australia. <laughs> I need to get on that. I watched the first episode. I, I think over the summer, that's what I'm going to be doing. What's the UK one? Oh, I don't know. I just like... Because the thing is, the Australian one, like, yeah. this is the same with any Australian TV show, especially, like, on, like an Australian TV show, kind of like anything like MasterChef, where it's like spread out over like six months. It's like a bunch of people competing for a thing. Yeah. Everyone is like ridiculously cheery. There's never like a sad moment. Even uh -huh. when people are like leaving, they're all, it's always like, it's never like, oh, for fuck's sake, you know, like, oh, balls. They're always like, thanks for the opportunity, blah, blah, blah. And the, they and like, but they're always like happy and cheery, then. like in the challenges as well. They're like, oh, you're going to have to bust your balls for 60 hours in a restaurant. Yay! It's like basically watching. Kids do anything, you know, when they're just like they're innocent. Australia just seems like an innocent paradise, and I just think you're bitter and jaded. I'm not bitter and jaded. I just really. I'm like not bitter and jaded. <laughs> <laughs> Instant defensive <laughs> mode, straight off. Well, that makes but me think otherwise, you know. Just I just miss Australia. That's yeah, all it is. I, I guess. I love you, Australia. Please. Please take me back. Please take me back. I know. I know. I'm just a lowly musician. Yeah, but, but like, please let me. We've have already it. got plenty of those. We've got Flight of the Concords. Um, oh my god, you dick! That's New Zealand. I said that. Before. Okay. I, they got friends or romp. Here they are. And the Cat Empire. They're one of my Boring favorite for bands. Soup. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> and they have that. Um, well, no, that rapper birds actually. And so you know, I mean. Out, so. okay. I mean, we don't even need move, movie guys because they have like Lord of the Rings and everything. So you literally have no use to be over there. And they have. I can't think of anything else uh, from New Zealand, which is actually from us, which isn't from Australia. So that, uh, the I'm best done. rugby team in the world. I don't know. I uh, I don't know anything about rugby, so. But you know, the All Blacks are really, really good. Are they? Yeah. Well. Well, New Zealand's really because basically they have like Islanders, basically, and Islanders are huge. Well. While we were talking about rugby and New Zealand and Australia, I just finished Star Fox, so... Well done. High five. I'm not going to make you watch all the credits. We're done. I want to watch the whole of the credits. Well, you get to pop... He's like staring at you for a second. I am the best. No, he's like, I love you. He's like... Mm. That's like... That was the original Luigi death stare. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Why is that not a thing? Peppy doesn't give a shit. He's just talking and stuff. I think Falco is just like... No, yeah, he's, he's like, oh, he's like, I'm gonna, but it's like, oh, I don't want to scare you too much. Look, look at Slippy. <laughs> How can you <laughs> like Slippy? Look at him. Look <laughs> at him. He's soulless. He's no soul. He doesn't even blink. No, he's like, <laughs> no, does it, no, neither does anyone else, but he needs to blink just to give him some character. His <laughs> yeah. character is, you go on his like wikia and it just says like, Peppy, he no. blinks sometimes. <laughs> no, that's, um... Not Peppy, Peppy the rabbit. So shit. Slippy. 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 No, it's, it's all the peepees. It's just... Pee pee. A wee wee. A wee wee. A wee wee. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. I get like paid and stuff. I, I can't skip this. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Next time on Power Gamers, you, we won't make you watch credits. I will. I'll make sure you have to watch Connor's the credits. Connor's credits. No, like, no views. I'm I'm that dick in the cinema who like judges people when they walk out for the end of the credits. I'm like, uh, give these other people the appreciation they deserve. I need to do that Cock. too. Just, at least just glance at their name. Glance at their name. That's all they want. <laughs> I only mean, judge people walk out of Marvel films. To be fair, no, to be fair, right? I don't understand. I remember my uncle saying this a couple of years ago. Okay. I'm gonna, we're just gonna quickly get it. But what, like, why, <laughs> why, why, it, why so does right, the movie industry feel like it needs to credit everyone who worked on the film? Well, they it's don't like, even anyway. There's loads of names who just get cut out. Yeah, I know, but still, but like, but just for, like, I don't give a shit who did the catering because the catering didn't really affect the movie. It's like, if when an album's made, they just go, uh, producer, engineer, artist. They didn't go, oh, and they went to Subway at one point I to get it, a sandwich. I think it's like 
proof, you know? So, like, if someone claims, like, oh, yeah, I worked on Iron Man, they're like, well, if your name's on the credits, and I know you worked on Iron Man. You know, I think that's that for that kind of well, thing. Well, yeah, but, again... When the when the caterers, yeah, who gives a sh Well the caterers might be like, Oh, you work you did the catering for Iron Man, I heard that's really really good. We want you to come and do the catering for uh the chef, you know. So I struggle really struggle. Why did you say chef? I mean chef <laughs> Chef, I love chef. Um, but you see my point. I see your point, yeah. Um but yeah. still it's time for us to go now. It's time for us to go now, as Fox said. It's time for us to go. That was uh, that great. Ending. We're gonna end go. on the sunset. It's beautiful. I love how Slippy's running. He's like, don't leave me behind, guys. Like, oh, just get to the secret hideout. Way, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this, this was every summer day for Star Fox. Uh, the Fox as a kid. Slippy's there. It's like, hey, like, like, hey, let's play Freedom Hall. <laughs> like, oh God. <laughs> we just keep running. Run, run. run. <laughs> Fuck you, Slippy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Next time on Power Gamers. Uh, uh, fuck Slippy. <laughs> <laughs>